Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. I'm making another video for you guys right after I made just one a few minutes ago because I'm on a roll. All right, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt. That's how you know it's the same day, right? If I change sweaters, then that means it's a different day altogether. That's what it means. Okay, so one of our great subscribers, Hans Henrik, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hi Hans, how you doing? My name is Jimmy. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick video in response to your question. He asked, what kind of soft shutter release button do I use? And the answer to that is, I'm not really using an official soft shutter release button. I'm actually using these stickers here. I hope you guys can see that. It's uh, by Everbuilt. It's from a hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. And uh, <laughs> um, I, I thought it was cool. It's the perfect size for me. It, it matches exactly on top of a, of a release button. Um, if you guys don't know, a release button is right here. It's what you use to take a shot with, to focus, and then follow through and take a shot. And some people stick stuff on top of there, and uh, that's referred to a soft shutter release button. And that can help you take shots for some people. Uh, for me, I wasn't sure if it was uh, the right thing to do to invest money into something like that if I wasn't really going to use it or feel comfortable using it. Uh, so I bought this from Home Depot and what it is is by Everbuilt like I mentioned and it costs just a few bucks Maybe like two and you get 16 of them here or if not more and you peel it off and you stick it on The cool thing about this is you can try it as a alternative and see if you like them at all if it fits your personality and your shooting style um, And it's cushiony and it's clear and it's cool and it worked for a while until it came off and no big deal I had plenty more to choose from right? So I do have an X-T1 and X-E2, and I used them on both of them for a while until it finally came off. And did I really miss it when it came off? Not really. Before I get into all that, let me explain to you guys what a soft shutter release button is for those of you who might not know. I certainly didn't know when it came to a point looking into it. So uh, I certainly didn't know why people were buying, paying 20, 30 bucks for a small little piece of plastic that you stick on your camera. But I'm an accessory junkie, so I had to look into it. Uh, soft shutter release buttons come in all sorts of different kinds of varieties. They come convex, concave, to fit your finger. And some people, I like them a little convex because it, it's, it still fits your finger in a, in a way that you can have some pressure there. Yeah, try it out to know what I mean. Um, what it is, is you stick it on top of your release button and it gives you something more of a prominent feature to hold on to. If you guys take your release button and kind of play with it, uh, the button up here, it kind of wiggles a little bit, and some people find that it's not as steady or it's not as, uh, you don't get a good grip on it. And you can cause blurring of your pictures if you're not too careful. Even if you're bracing it with your left hand uh, and you're and putting against your face, it might still blur because they blame it on, you know, the nature of the smaller cameras nowadays, and especially people have bigger hands. Um, they find that having something of, of something of a nubbin to push onto, to hold onto, uh, your finger can have more leverage. It's a little higher up. I'm not exaggerating here. Some of them are actually this big and some of them are a little smaller. And by doing this, your finger's in a more naturally curled position. Even for me, I have smaller hands too. Um, and you're able to take better shots this way. You notice without a soft shutter release button, your finger might have to curl in like this. And some people might not find this. It's, you, can, you can get used to it, but some people might not like that position as much, especially if you're just getting started and they kind of wish there was something else right here. Um, that's where the, the soft shutter release button comes from, or comes into play. You can buy them from stores like lalumina.com, L-O-L-U-M-I-N-A.com. As you see, the X-E2 here has a threaded release button there, and that's for external controls or whatever you want to plug in there. The X-T1 does not have a threaded release, um, so you just have to stick something on there. Uh, some people, I have heard some horror stories, threaded something in there like a soft shutter release button, and it snags on their bags or their clothing or other equipment. Because the soft shutter release button is kind of floating on top, um, like, a, like a saucer, like a, like a flying saucer, like an alien, above your camera, making sure everything's okay. Okay, so um, because it's not flush, there is an area there for things to snag. So please be very careful uh, if, it, if it's threaded and it catches on something, what do you think is gonna come along out with it? That's right, the mechanism itself. And that means more money is gonna be put towards fixing your old camera. And then you have to call the company saying, where can I ship it? How much does it cost to ship? When are you can get it fixed? Oh, you have 30,000 other orders to fix? Oh crap, when are you can get mine? Oh, you lost my order, that sucks. When am I ever getting it back? Should I just buy a new camera? Ah. 
Has it happened before to me? Something like that. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is be very careful. As I was thinking about this though, you know, shying away from threaded, uh, you know, soft release buttons in general just because it might damage your camera is not a really good reason to shy away from it because everything about a camera, it's a scientific instrument, can be deemed, you know, you gotta be really careful with it. There's an EVF back here, there's a lens in front that costs hundreds of dollars. You know, if you can be comfortable being careful with this and being cautious with your equipment, surely a soft shutter release button is very, you, know, you can handle it. So, you know, take it for what it's worth and look into it and try out the sticker idea that I tried. Um, and see if you like it and then uh, let me know how it works out for you. Okay, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps you a little bit. Um, if there's anything you guys wanna mention, please uh, let me know your experience in the comments below. And uh, I'll give you guys a link to lalumina.com in the description. Thank you so much for the new subscribers. I'll hopefully give you guys some new cool content very soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Sorry guys, I got something stuck in my eye here.